Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to share with you guys some of the items that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Before I get started, thank you guys for watching. I, I woke up, I think it was two days ago, and I saw that I was at 60K subscribers. Um, you guys are awesome. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for showing so much love to my channel. Um, I just, I'm just like overwhelmed and I just really, really want to say thank you guys. Uh, yeah, I have something for you guys coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. But if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Now I'm going to show you guys this stuff first because I'm scared Pooh Bear is going to come in the room. Um, but these are going in his Easter basket. I did find the Batman Hot Wheels. I love finding different Hot Wheels for him because he has tons of them, but I like to find ones that he hasn't has, doesn't have already, sorry. Um, and then I got this Skull Crusher just because it's different. It has like a brain on top. That's kind of weird. And then this one i definitely never seen before. The Owl Driver, it's a person on a metal like grocery cart. <laughs> new for 2017 so that's why I really like finding the Hot Wheels there because you always can find different ones and these are gonna be so good to go in his Easter basket okay so I did get some uh, notepads uh, summer inspired this one just says enjoy the little things with the fruit around it thought this was cute I'm almost tempted to say this one was out like last year or the year before I remember seeing something with the fruit on it but I can't remember and then I did go ahead and get this one it says stick to it with the cactus on the bottom I thought this was super cute so I got both of those I also grabbed this and by the way if you guys hear a bunch of noise my daughter has company over and they are downstairs making a lot of noise so um yeah uh, then I just got this and it's a little hanging thing that I'm going to put a picture in and give it to my daughter. It says love you to the moon and back and it has the little diamond embellishments right here. Really cute. Oh, you know what? When I bought it, I didn't even know it had a magnet on the back. So you can take this off if you want and hang it on the refrigerator or whatever. And they had different ones. I just thought this one was cute. I grabbed another shadow box. This one is Magic is All Around Us with the unicorn head. I like the black background with the polka dots and the unicorn on it. So it's just one of the shadow boxes. I showed some of the other ones in my last haul. So I got that. I grabbed another set of these planner stickers. There was somebody that was um, asking me about these and I hadn't seen them until now. So I went ahead and picked up another pack of those. And then, uh oh. I think I have, here's another set of stickers. These googly eye ones with the cute little faces of the fruits and the cupcakes and stuff. So I just went ahead and got those. They had some more magnets and like I always do, just stay tuned to the end because I'll put pictures up. I only got this one out of the set that I saw. I believe, believe in miracles. I just think this is super adorable and I really like the ones that are thick like this that look like they're on canvas. Um, yeah, so I got that. Now, these next items right here, I'm actually, um, I think I'm going to do it tonight, actually. I'm going to put all of these on one of my older jean jackets that I kind of wear but I don't wear too often just to have something different I don't know because you know you know sometimes you guys see those jean jackets in the store and they have all the cute patches on them and they be charging like an arm and a leg for that and I'm like hold on I can do that myself so I just grabbed all of the patches that I saw there was two other ones I didn't like so I left those behind but this I love the little vintage skate Definitely love that. Good vibes, bad habits, the lips and the peace sign, that unicorn, the rainbow, the cat with the eyes, and it says whatever. <laughs> uh, wow, the cactus. The other pack that I didn't purchase had a cactus in it, but I didn't really care to, for the way it looked, so I just got this one. And then this one I really, really like. The like sequin watermelon with the old school Sunday shake or yeah so I just got those and like I said I think I am going to make that my project for tonight after I do these videos and get them up for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and iron these on my jacket 
they had some more um, makeup they usually always get elf um, but these products that I picked up I haven't seen before this is an all-over color stick and my store only had this color which is persimmon and I don't even know let me see it says illuminates illuminates for a healthy looking glow and helps soothe and condition skin twist stick and apply liberally to face eyes and or lips so let's get this open and see what it looks like okay so I got this all over stick open and let's see I'm trying to see okay it screws up like that and I just want to see what color it looks like so there it is I've never used one of these before so I don't know it gives a little bit of shimmer it's really really pretty it's like a pearl like type of a color so that's what this one looks like I'll mess around with that and see if I actually like it then I went ahead and grabbed the mascara lengthening and defining mascara in black also you guys the uh, gardeners are outside if you hear them um, cutting and then here is a shimmering facial whip in lilac petal and this one says highlights eyes lips and cheeks illuminates for a dewy finish without leaving a sticky or greasy feel helps soothe and condition skin squeeze a pearl size amount on finger and blend onto cheeks so it kind of seems like it's like a liquid highlighter so yeah I'm gonna give that a try and that's the color right there also forgot to show this they had another magnet this one is not the canvas one it's more like the uh, ceramic or porcelain or whatever uh, this is life is a journey enjoy the ride and I really like that and I don't know if you can tell but the gold is kind of sparkly so it's like a gold foil on it so I thought that was cute and then I did pick up this uh, strawberry flavored Carmex and these are like in my CVS and Walgreens for like three or four dollars so I got one of those um, now we're just kind of in random stuff that I'm picking up I did pick up this book Charlie's epic fiasco star power it says she's got a hustle to stay in the big leagues so I did get that book I grabbed a tacky glue because I am about to start crafting again I'm gonna try my hardest to get some stuff done um, and with that being said uh, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about these uh, embellishment, embellishment boxes and I just think those are so cute and I want to try to do a couple so I did pick up five of these containers and what they're doing basically is if you're into paper crafts and stuff like that they're decorating the box and then there's um, putting embellishments in here for you to send to somebody for like you know kind of instead of a flip book or a pocket letter they're doing uh, embellishments so I'm actually going to make five of them I have some themes that I want to do especially since summer is coming up the bad thing is is that I don't have anybody else to swap with <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna choose who to swap with because I don't have a Facebook account anymore they basically kicked me off of Facebook because they said that pretty and flawed is not my legal name so um, unless I could have verified that I had a birth certificate that said pretty and flawed they shut down my account um, and I just haven't created another one so when I'm ready to do this I'll probably post something on Instagram and if you are a crafter or you are into these things then um, stay tuned for that and maybe uh, we'll be swapping uh, one of these out or whatever so I did get five of those I'm coming up to my favorite find in just a second and then I did get um, these boxes I just thought these were cute and I'll probably make some embellishments and put them in here as well and give them to send them out in friend mail or something like that this one too I thought this was cute I like the little tribal patterns on this my daughter might try to keep this one just because that's like her style and then this one is super cute they always bring back these really cute boxes every year and um, you know sometimes the patterns are the same and some are different I don't remember seeing this one last year I love the black and white stripes I love the fruits look at the pineapple and all of that and the cherries on top and it is glitter up here 
Uh, it comes off a little bit, but it's really, really cute. And so I picked up those boxes. My favorite find is some vintage cups. Now, I was like, Dollar Tree is doing the most. I said that in my last video. Look at this cup. The best time to drink coffee is now. And this is really vintage-like. Like, I love the way the cursive is on that. And I love that the top has the black rim. And when I move the sticker, it is actually Dollar Tree brand. So, that is super cool. So, I got that one. The best time, yeah. And then this one. Great ideas start with great coffee. And they're all made the same. They just say different things. And then these two as well. So cute. This one says cappuccino. I really like that one. And then the last one. Yeah, hold on, baby. And then the last one is this one that says latte. How cute are these? These are going to go so fast. If you see those, you better snag those. These are going to sell so fast in the store. I really, really like those. And then another cup that I got was they brought these back, the Aladdin cups. I had got these a few months back. Um, my sons have confiscated all of them. So <laughs> this one is going to be mine. I'm going to get me a Sharpie and I'm going to write mom right here. Because if I don't, they gonna, and that probably don't even matter. They're going to use my cup, ain't they? I know they are. But I got another one. I was so happy to find another bag of these. They have the caramel ones and then they have the other ones. But these are so good. The marshmallow and caramel. Oh my goodness. And this was the only pack sitting up on the shelf. When they had them before, I bought a bunch of them. Lord knows I don't need them. But these are so good. So I did get another pack of those. They had big boxes of Pop Secret. This is the Pop Secret Kids in Kettle Corn. And there is 10 snack size bags in here. These are awesome. This is a good deal. Pooh Bear was just behind me saying, did you get those for me? He knows already. So I got that one with the 10. And that's a big box. Look at that. And then I also got this one. The 100 calorie snack size 10 bags in this one as well. So with a sprinkle of salt and taste of butter. So yeah, I just got both of those find was this alex 10 can uh sketch 10 set and it comes with these pencils in here and they have different numbers on them so this one says 6b 4b this is just a regular b so if you're into drawing and you know doing artwork and stuff you would understand what those numbers mean i don't my daughter draws bless you honey my daughter draws and she draws really really good one day i'll have to put some pictures up um but i got those for her just for her to mess with um to see if she's gonna actually like these so yeah i showed some of these on instagram when i first found them and they are the wall stickers this one says you got this girl with the heart and the lips right here uh and I thought that was cute. This one, apparently you guys really like this one. I love this one. And it is a family recipe. And it looks like this. And the other side is a pinch of kindness, a big scoop of patience. And the finished picture will look like this. You've probably seen this on my Instagram if you do follow me on there because I posted that when I first found it. And then I, I went ahead and picked up the cactus that looked like that. These are cute. And this one for my daughter, which is a bird and a cage and the flowers that you can put around it. So it will end up looking like that. The flowers go down around it video i told you guys that i was gonna do this um and i just wanted to touch bases with you guys on it because i get i've had i have had comments about this like does it still last this i don't know how long ago i made that video telling you guys about this diy where i bought the glass bowl from dollar tree like that and i bought the bath sponge from dollar tree and i told you guys i was gonna cut a slit in the middle and then i don't want to let me and then I was going to fill it with um, 
fingernail polish remover well this thing this is the same sponge from that video as you can see only this one little piece has tore apart um, but if I stick my fingers in here right now all this polish will come off here you guys here so this is what I do I just go like that I know that looks crazy but did you see how fast that came off and that's what I do like this is the same sponge. do you see how fast that came off look watch that and that's it and I've been using this and this sponge still is intact you can see the the fingernail polish remover at the bottom and I mean if I wanted to I can refill it or I can just eventually I'm gonna get a new sponge because it has been a long time since I've been using this one um, you know so it works and I been using this like I said and you definitely want to use a glass bowl especially with the fingernail polish remover so that's it you guys I just wanted to tell you guys about that I kept forgetting to mention that in my videos so that is it for this haul I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like I said don't forget to hit that subscribe button stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye